Are you here? I'm number one. I'm one of one. I'm the, I'm only, the only one. one. Go get the broom. <laughs> Go get. I'm not. Come on. Welcome to the Nellie Drayton Show, where creative souls gather to go beyond. I'm your hostess with the mostest, eating peppermints like they're deliciosis. And my name is Nellie Drayton. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. What it do? It's your girl, Nellie D, on the ones and sometimes the twos. And I got the one and only, LOL, probably Drew, bar. Hi. It's me, LL Probably Drew. And I'm here on the Nellie Drayton Show with the Nellie Drayton at Nellie Drayton across all social media platforms. Please show her some love. Show me some of these. Very that. Very that. Ding dong. Ding 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 dong. But Nellie, we do have a guest with us today. It would be rude of you not to introduce them. (gasps) Hey! We got you thought of the Brady Bunch because you're underneath me. I don't know where I'm at on y'all screen, but I'm in the middle. Oh, what Drew is actually right. There is someone here, and she's got that very skin clear. She is the one and only Chris. In Chris, we trust. If you must mm. yes. bow down, because mm. she don't mess with clowns mm. bars. Ooh. 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 Come on, rap early. Thank you. Thank you for the intro. Thank you for having me. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is that? Is that a reference? It's, yes. Yes. <clears throat> oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. You had to be there, you know? Hey, girls, the girls, I to get it. Here on the Nellie Drayton Show, I am the one person who don't get the references because I live under a rock. No, and that you know what? So you disgusting. do the same thing. You give us references, and we're just cockeyed. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> mm, no. Speaking of don't know cockeyed, that. hold on, wait a minute. Speaking Ooh. of cockeyed, that's mm-hmm. how I'm feeling about this visual that Beyonce oh. didn't drop. I'm feeling a little. Right. I'm excited. I haven't watched it, yeah. and just because y'all see, look, y'all might be watching. And see the red line right there indicating that some of the video has been watched. It's a lie. Someone else did it. It wasn't me. I promise you, it was not me. Lies. She's lying. <laughs> Still don't know that reference, but it's funny. It's a deep cut. It's a deep cut. It's a love and hip hop deep cut. Okay. Shout out to Carly Bad. Mm. Messy. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. Still don't know who that is. It's okay, though. We know who this is. Don't do that. Don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. (laughs) It's getting hot in here. It's okay. Me and Nelly are still slated to have a I Love New York and Flavor of Love marathon. So, because she missed out on those golden golden ages of television. Yeah. Wow. You really did. Yeah. I mean, it truly did. I mean, it made up my personality for sure. So, absolutely. There would be really? no reality TV without Tiffany Pollard. Tiffany New York Pollard. Mm. Who, who is that? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's almost blasphemous. This like, really seriously. is. You said who is New York? Well, I know I what New York. I know what New York is. And I love New York too, Mister Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna tear up these peppermints because I still don't know what you're talking about. I know. I know. I told it's you okay. I'm under we'll I'm you. under a rock. I'm worse than Patrick. I know. You are Patrick. I, I said I'm worse. Yeah, I think because he actually comes out. Yeah, well, he comes out from under the rock. He, <laughs> so <right>. he comes. <laughs> he literally rises he up under Post the rock Nelly. occasionally. So, Post Nelly, get a video of Patrick coming out of the rock. <laughs> Who are you people? It's well. a SpongeBob reference. <laughs> Typical. You know, there's like this level of, you know what? I'm just gonna be minty. I'm not even gonna come you to your that. own you level. You fresh, girl. You stay fresh. Got to. Thank you <laughs> so much. <laughs> All right, enough of the Nelly slander. What are we doing here today, Nelly? 
Um, I don't know. You tell me. No, I'm just playing. Um, oh. I know. I mean, because you just came for me for like two. We're at five minutes in the show. You just came for contact. me the whole five. You I'm guys. Just... I don't you're, appreciate you're gonna this. Put on your Insta, okay? We are here today because we're going to do something that we've never done before. We're going mm-hmm. to record a podcast show far away from each other. It feels like 2019 all over again. Oh, Lord. Don't please don't. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Back. Too soon. Sorry, girl. Back. Sorry. <laughs> Especially in my condition. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, girl. I just didn't even think. My bad. Mm-hmm. Just cancel me. Y'all just cancel me already. Mm-hmm. I'm offending everybody today. I just repeated last weekend. <laughs> just coming for everybody. <laughs> Uh, oh yes when we was at your friend oh i don't even want to talk about that but i kind of do but I, i'm not going maybe to another, maybe another show we can talk about it yeah because you wasn't no diva <laughs> <laughs> you Get wasn't the that whole night <laughs> oh, it was coming for me to sleep over y'all don't be knowing that we hang out outside of the podcast but we do and he be boo booing with his attitude. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? He be coming for my whole life. Ugh. Anyways, mm. Mm. Hmm. Right. you're right. You're right. He do. You're he right. be coming. Do we want to talk about how you was um questioning my body, telling me what I can and can't I do? I wasn't questioning your body. I was questioning the choices that you were making with your body. You were oh, telling me what I can and can't do with the box. No, I was telling you what you should and should not do. Because you did no, it anyway. No, 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 <clears throat> but it's tongue twister. Say that ten times fast. Visualizer. Visual. No, official, official visualizer. Official, visual. official oh, visualizer. Nope. Official oh, no. visualizer. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. ma'am. Mm-mm. Well, Miss um Miss and Crispy Trust. First of all, I got to shout out her Instagram name, and we then we can get into it. it I can. That's a dope Instagram name. I think I've already told you that like a Thank thousand you. times. And Crispy it. Trust. I love it. I love it. I wish you didn't have to put the underscore. I want you to be the, you know, like in Chris we trust. You know what I mean? It's so Because what other Chris do we need to be trusting? No, I don't trust any other. <laughs> Literally. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm usually very distrustful of Chris's, but you're the one Chris that I do trust. Period. Thank you. That means a period. Period. Mm. Of course. Amongst mm. all these Chris's, I'm the one. And that's the one we the, trust. The one. Okay. I trust this Chris. Ooh. My vote's for Chris. Ooh, I vote for Chris because in Chris, her on my ballot. we trust. That's a slogan. <laughs> I put her on my ballot. She's gonna be a write in. <laughs> <laughs> we about to watch mm. this official visualizer and give y'all a little bit of visual. You get what I'm saying? Our, our first impressions of the song because we, I don't think any of us have actually like sat down and listened to the whole song and now we also have a visual to go along with it which let me tell you something be have don't come for me i'm on your side beyonce we need renaissance visuals where are they oh re- talking about renaissance one act one yeah we have, we have no visuals i mean except for a movie <laughs> i guess that counts you are visuals, the visual but... baby no i won't i want <laughs> mid- music video production no, <laughs> no. absolutely not before we get into it, let me just say, and be, and we have, I love y'all, I stand for y'all. I mean, this, if we, Beyonce is known for dancing and high kicking and doing all that stuff. And this album was made for that. And we got, we got some, you know, we got some cute little, you know, moments on the tour. But I wanted eight count majorette Beyonce. Where was she? Can we find her? Hashtag, where is Major at Beyonce? The ladies two-step a little. Yeah, come on now. I mean, granted, the tour was fabulous. Excellent production. Beyonce never misses. But we just miss Beyonce. 
she like you know did her whole social media thing with renaissance i was totally expecting like a lemonade-esque era type rollout Mm -hmm. like she was gonna give us like a full package i mean she had you know uh, a whole like pre-sale you know you could get vinyls and i mean i was really expecting like a full like drop and then we got the album album was fabulous great then we got lyrical videos great aesthetic loved it we never got music videos i wanted music i mean not even for all of them i mean just a couple of songs some music videos america has a problem i would have loved to see it with kendrick lamar like oh is that was a music video or her and blue ivy like come on community is like where are the visuals <laughs> <They're> like <laughs> give it less I, I agree i did f- I, I fell in love especially with um sorry i i loved the slow-mo fast i love mm-hmm. just i love that because yeah, the editor, yeah the editor yeah. in me was excited really excited about that type of stuff mm-hmm. so i agree mm-hmm. I, i'm a visual i'm a visual lover at heart so um i don't know but what do you guys think about 16 carriages because I don't, I, I don't, I'm not a country music expert, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a country music fan in general, but I will be open-minded for Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because we, 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 let, we, let's break it down. Beyonce has done country before. We had, you know, Daddy's Girl, which was an amazing rendition of like folk music. It was really good. And I liked it. And I listened to it. And it was one of my faves for a, a short amount of time. So if this is giving Daddy's Girl like down, then I'm here for it. I, ha- I mean, I, I have heard little bits and pieces of it. And it is it is giving me like um, Lemonade, Daddy's Girl. Like it's giving that. But it's giving more like leaning into country. I think that song just had like yeah. a country vibe. This is like really leaning into like country. Like you can hear like the the you know I don't know if it's banjos, but you know you can hear those like folky. So I'm excited for it because I think this is gonna put Beyonce in a a whole different like you know area that exactly. she hasn't really like you know walked down yet. But we all know how Beyonce does when she walks in the room. Everybody gonna stand that. So we know these CMA people, when she get her CMA award, they're going to cry for Beyonce. Oh, they were so. mad. She even had a performance. So, you know, they're definitely going to cry if she gets an award. But I think it's a flex. She's showing people, like, I can literally do any genre, mm-hmm. any type of music, mm-hmm. anything that y'all see challenging, she's going to do it. So I respect yeah. it in that sense. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, personally, I don't get in the car and throw on country music. But I think that she is also opening the door for a lot of people that have the same sentiments as me to be like, okay, like, let me give it a try. And who knows? I might start liking country after this and, you know, be put on to other country artists. But I'm really excited to see the full realized project, like what it might be. Because, I mean, in my eyes, truly, Beyonce don't miss. So happy that I'm like alive while Beyonce's alive. Isn't that crazy to think of? <laughs> like, I mean, it's like I feel that way about Michael Jackson. Jackson. Like, yeah. I, I like, wish I, did, I wish I got to that? experience. Well, I get. To, I wish I got to experience more of him. Like, we're experiencing yeah. all of Beyonce while we experienced mm-hmm. um, the last upcoming years of Michael Jackson. Like, I don't. I mean, you know, we well, get to experience like Whitney Houston. Uh, Mariah Carey, like some of the true yeah. greats, Diana Ross, like some of these really amazing artists. And we got to live during that time, but we have been with Beyonce since the beginning, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. I love that she for us. She was literally, what, a teenager, 16? 16. 16. Coming into the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all grew up together, basically. Beyonce's our sister. She's our sister. <laughs> sis. Big sis. What's going on, girl? I had to connect with Beyonce, too, because Beyonce is like a celebrity to other celebrities. Like, she's just so, like, yeah. everything about her is perfect. But I feel like Rihanna, on the other hand, is more relatable because, you know, she's not perfect. And she's not afraid to show her imperfections at times. Mm-hmm. But then again, it's still, like, she's still untouchable in a certain type of way. I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like this allure that Rihanna has. So I guess Rihanna is my mother. You would choose her as a mother. I, I would have to agree. No, I ain't got no argument for that because <laughs> same. 
Eh, y'all are her mama. children. Mm-hmm. I, I, I hear you. I'm in the Navy, her. baby. I was going to say, what's the, the Rihanna band the group? The Navy. The Navy. I'm a Navy. I'm part of Rihanna Navy. Yeah. Why do they say the people that are um, Usher's fans are the Usher board? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take up the church, baby. You want to get started? Don't say anything, Drew. If you say a word, if you say a word, if you say a word, like if you say anything, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Let me enjoy these ads, okay? They be introducing me to things that I need. Let me grab a Bev real quick while you going through the ads. Not a Bev. Come yeah, on, Bell. Bell. Time, girl. This a long ad. <laughs> Bell did in the vo- I thought your mic was muted. It was there too Looks like you. Ow! Oh! Bev, can I get one? Girl, I don't know what this is, honey. RC Cheers. Clink, clink. Clink. Ding, 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 ding. Clink, clink. I wish I had some bourbon. Well, I'm about done with this bottle of wine, so we're going to see how my night goes. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. It's, a rough, it's been a rough week, y'all. 16 carriages. Initial thoughts. Um, she was definitely touching on a lot of subjects. I think that, like we were just saying, we forget that these artists have been around for so long. You know, mm-hmm. her talking about being 15 and... <clears throat> you know, already having her innocence taken away. Like, you know, we look at the early days of Destiny Child and it's hard to imagine that this is a child. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because she's always presented herself in such a, like, a more mature, professional way. And we forget, like, she literally was a child and didn't get to experience what a lot of children should be experiencing. I felt like that Mm -hmm. about her and, like, Michael Jackson. Imagine being in this limelight, this spotlight, you know, mm-hmm. even the smallest things in life, she probably can't enjoy. She can't go to Walmart. She can't go, mm-hmm. you know, to dinner without cameras everywhere. She can't be a normal person. Mm-hmm. And um, that takes a toll on you. Overworked. What did she say? Overwhelmed and overworked. Mm-hmm. We all can relate to that. And we not even Beyonce. So. <laughs> I loved how... Because at first, you know, I was listening to it and I was like, oh, this doesn't sound really. And then the country and and then the elements of like country music came in. I was like, okay. But even through all of that, like I, you know, sometimes I feel like when an artist is like transitioning or like trying a different genre, it feels like they're like paying homage to something. I didn't feel like that with Beyonce. I feel like Beyonce was doing Beyonce's version of country music. And I, that's probably what I appreciate the most about the song is that it doesn't sound like Beyonce trying to do country. It sounds like Beyonce, Beyonce's version of country because she still did the melodies and she did the stacked vocals, which honestly, it sounded like um, from her album four, like a lot of her songs had like those like really crazy harmonies and stacked vocals. It was giving very like four and... I appreciate that. Uh, this is giving like Beyonce fans who also like country. It's like fan service for them. Like this is what this is. I'm upset you that there? there were no extra visuals. Oh, um, you wanted more. The video editor and me wanted more. The Beyonce fans is pleased. Yeah. The video yeah. editor I mean, and me wants way I more. I think for the song. I think for the song, like, that was, like, I mean, we also have to like, realize this is, like, a visualizer. So this is more, like, a visual to go along with, like, a lyric, like, a lyrical. Yeah. It's, like, a lyrical video with, like, a visual. About her daddy lying? Yes. Yeah. Her mother crying, That's daddy, daddy lying. lying. Yeah. Oh, Matthew. But, you know, she... Low key says coming for that man. man. Yeah, but what happened? I forget. I know like something he cheated happened. on her. Forget... He cheated on her mama. That's what happened. I think the production does have to grow on me. I think yeah. that um, I like seeing the lyrics and you know seeing what she's saying. Yeah. Um, 
because it let me focus more on the content as opposed to the production. But I think, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes I need something with a little knock in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I am still like hungry for like a good Beyonce egg out. I still want to see the film. Uh, we should watch it one time and like react. We, we need to, we need to, we need to, because I want to see her doing a little twerking on the You Won't Break My Soul. Like, I actually, I haven't even mm. seen, you know what? I still haven't even seen the, the preview or the promo. I love me a good promo because commercial is, is where I want to, if I could dive into commercial work full time, I would do that tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and take an educated guess. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. Oh, look, look at that. It's going to be similar. Mm. Yeah, that's a gun. Oh, she said, say another thing about the visuals. That also visuals are just standard for anyone dropping a project. Yeah. At least a couple of videos, you know? Yeah. I mean, girl, you did a whole like visual (laughs) album before. Yeah. Yeah, Like, and just dropped it on everybody. You could have did Break My Soul, and that would have been the only music video we would have gotten. And I would have been totally okay with that because that song was everything when it came out. Like, I was listening to that every single I loved that song. I still love that song, but I skip it on the album because I listened to it like that whole summer. (laughs) So, uh, overwhelmed and overworked. So, yeah, maybe that's why she didn't make a visual album. (laughs) (laughs) I I asked for nothing else. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, overworked. that's why she didn't. She said, my daddy's lying. I'm overworked, okay? <laughs> <laughs> of all the reasons. That, 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 those are legit. Did y'all got an album and a tour? Relax. And a I mean, the, and the movie. While I and got three film. kids. While I got three kids at home. Beyonce, this is what y'all look like. Half a visual. Never <laughs> kill nobody. I mean, yeah, you could I mean, girl. Visual, come on. I would have been okay if it was just like if she was even in the video. Like it was just like people Vogan and or and an animation. That is true. If she did animation, yeah. she would break. She would break the internet, and, and that'd be it. She's always about celebrating like black culture and and la da da da. I think she's calling it the Renaissance album, and there was a black Renaissance, like an a black art Renaissance that happened like in the. 30s or 40s maybe maybe the 20s i'm not sure exactly when i did this and i did an art class so i educated it was very like abstract black art she had a whole moment like her team dropped the ball she because she could be that would have been iconic like celebrating black artists to your music using the black Renaissance. especially all the queer black people that were involved with the production of renaissance heard from her dancers mm-hmm. you know what i mean to people mm-hmm. that were featured on the tracks like the samples yeah hella black I mean, hella queer like she truly did, missed an opportunity she could have capitalized she could have capitalized truly. that and she couldn't really change other people's lives i mean their lives already changed by being, by being involved but just to have yeah. that visual like imagine that being on your sizzle reel like Beyonce, I mean, Beyonce's video, come on, like, the album was iconic, and honestly, like, she really did her big one with that, and uh, really. the visuals really would have just been the perfect. She wouldn't have even had to work that hard. And I'm just, yeah. She didn't, she would not have even had to work that hard. She didn't even have to be a part of them. It broke my soul. Like, it my soul. Renaissance, it's up there on my Beyonce albums. It might be number one. I think as far as like the impact, I'm gonna say it's from the number one. But my favorite album will always and forever be four. I love that album. Four. Everybody I, says four, and it's so like iconic. I and, like love that. Album. That is like staple Beyonce. That's like yeah, peak Beyonce. That's quintessential. Four. Like if you wanna, if if you ever wanted to like teach someone like who's Beyonce? God forbid there's everyone like anyone like that who exists in this world who doesn't know who Beyonce is. I'm gonna show them four. Because to me, like, four is, like, that was Beyonce's peak at that time. I think her best, truly, truly, truly best album was Lemonade. I was going to say, that's and my then, favorite. But that's because I'm an editor. Impact. The editor in me is, it, the the fan in me and the editor in me is satisfied with Lemonade. Yeah. It touches two parts well, Lemonade, of my soul. Like, Lemonade, like, Renaissance, I do think is, like, art. But Lemonade was, like, poetry like it was like poetry filmmaking uh art directing i mean it was like 
the last person who had done something like that 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 was so impacting was Prince, who was like her mentor. So like it was really pretty much a love letter to her mentor Prince. I am sound like a stan over here. I'm like giving out like impromptu. I love it, because, like, I love it. <laughs> because she needs to get her flowers, and of course everybody always gives Beyonce her flowers, but people really except for the Grammys. Oh. Uh, for the Grammy. People really don't understand how intentional this woman is, mm-hmm. how About, detailed yes. she is. You know what I mean? Every little detail she's involved in, mm-hmm. like she's setting her intentions and it shows. And that's the reason why she is the best at what she does. But what I appreciate about Lemonade is for me, it was so, the album that I could relate to the most just as yeah. a woman, as a yeah. person, yes. as a, you know. Adele was not having Hold it. On. Adele was not having Sense. it. She didn't. She still didn't get album of the year. But she's nominated she for so album, many yeah. show, but uh, but she gets nominated. So well, she's even one by, of the most well, Grammys. I know. I was she's about to say what Jay Z said is what I'm saying. I was about to repeat what Jay Z yeah. said. Like so, mm-hmm. by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Mm-mm. Like I'm gonna, I'm going to be, I'm going to use that line for the rest of my life. Like you <laughs> want a relationship, you want you want a relationship, but you cheat on every person that you've been with. So by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> I'm Jay-Z, just saying. look what you done did to this woman. Look what you done did. Most professional way you can she say. <laughs> Got it. I mean, that's the she most professional way you market. can approach because what can they can't say that he was aggressive. You know, black black people are always associated with oh, aggressive behavior. You guys don't get what no, you want. No, but they called him shady. They called him shady. And well, he I said mean, there were some people out here don't even deserve to be nominated. I mean, but it's the truth. <laughs> look, it was yeah. the truth, and they know who they were. Some now, I will, I will say this. I will say this because I have been called out for being a Taylor Swift hater and I'm not a Taylor Swift hater. I just don't get the hype. Sorry. I don't get um, hyped about, about her either. I like, I will always love I Taylor hype. Swift. I don't, I will never I be her. overhyped. I think she is an amazing. No. Let me say this. No. I think she is an amazing songwriter. I think she's probably one of, I think she's going to be like one of the greats. I mean, she's been doing this for a long time. Not as long, nearly as long as like Beyonce, Usher, some of these people who've been doing music for a very long time. She ain't nowhere near them yet. But she's been doing music for a long time. And she does have writing credits on all of her music. So she is a writer. I give her that. I do think she's an amazing songwriter. I think she is a good singer. I tried listening to her latest album. I think the album that I liked the most was the Lover album. I liked that album. I love that one. She, had, Can I she go had some really where? Yeah. She had some good songs on there and it was the good. It, it was good. I don't think oh, Taylor song. Swift is making music for me though. You know what I mean? And it's <laughs> See, like that's what certain, I said certain too. songs have resonated with me. Like I really do like the I know you weren't you know some of her older jams. Yeah, that was fun. Like I can't deny that she has some bops, right? What I yeah. don't appreciate is any time Beyonce is brought up, we have to bring up Taylor Swift and we're literally comparing I know. apples oh, yeah, there's no to comparison. oranges. There's That's no comparison. What... Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's just been a lot of the talk about um, people comparing them, but also just the conversation that Black women have to literally be the best ever to even get to compared even... to this yeah. popular, mediocre white artist. Yep. And it's it pisses me off because Beyonce yeah. is the best at what she does, just period. And so mm-hmm. to compare anyone to her at this point is really like, it's it's not real. Like, it you guys are thing. grasping at straws. Yeah. It'd be I one thing if she was like, Adele oh, sorry, no. to Beyonce. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was just going to yeah. say, that's the wrong comparison. I would compare Adele to Beyonce yeah. before Taylor Swift. Somebody that can actually sing. Beyonce hey, is your yeah, favorite artist. Like favorite artist she's your favorite actor's favorite yeah. artist she's Did you your see the line at the grammys to come hug her Let's hug her and take pictures of yeah. celebrities it was a yeah. beyonce meet and greet the grammys was the beyonce yeah. meet and greet yeah <laughs> in the bit uh, in the building for more than 20 minutes she came right before jay-z's speech left right after jay-z's speech still signing autographs for other celebrities mm-hmm. getting pictures you know she's like that, you said she's a celebrity for celebrities I think she did perform at the White House, no? Yeah, the the inauguration. Their inauguration. She performed at last. Look at me. Let me let me tell you something. Whoever needs a Beyonce trivia person, 
I know they do. <laughs> if you wanted to like listen to an album, like sit down and like listen to an album, what's your what's your favorite way to do that, or like what's the way that like it really like is like the it's best way for you to do in. it? Yeah. Usually, like if I'm getting ready, like either getting ready for work or on the mm-hmm. way to work, any time really that I have time by myself, I try to listen to music. So cleaning. Um, and it also depends on what I'm listening to. Mm-hmm. Like for this, I feel like I'm gonna have to lay down and listen to it. <laughs> yeah. But for sure. certain things, like for me to digest it, I kind of have to be moving around. Mm-hmm. So it just depends on the artist and the album, I think. Okay. What really? I got for you? Uh, my car rides. But then again, I don't know because I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm gonna be real deal, real, real, mm-hmm. real, 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 real honest with you. Um. Mm-hmm. I don't be listening to a lot of new anything anymore, but I think it's because I edit so much that I'm over, over, uh, overstimulated. Yeah. So how, I don't know. When I Shazam a song, I listen to it and play it like 10 times a day. And that's the one song I'm going to listen to for a very long time. As far as like new <laughs> songs, albums, it's a struggle. Mm-hmm. I have to take it like, yeah. I still haven't even, uh, don't judge me. Don't come from my whole life. I have not listened to the full Renaissance album. <laughs> I ain't listened to the whole no. thing. No. What do you mean? How have you not? I've listened to bits and pieces. What songs then... have you like, listened to? We have to know. Oh, well, right now I've been on this J-pop, K-pop kick and oh, learning. So um, I'm, not, I'm not listening to English. I'm listening to <laughs> Japanese and Korean music. Okay. So well, and learning English, pop, huh? So it's nothing wrong with some K-pop. No, I no. like um, a little bit of I, I like K-pop music videos. They go hard. They go crazy. Well, know, I, I and it's because, I I do, but I don't. Fa- it's not a oh. again overstimulated. I'm trying to tell you, like some things. If it just if I feel like I'm about to be overstimulated, I'm like, mm. oh yeah, you'll be over, they go. They go crazy. Like the See, if you think if you're over here begging for Beyonce visuals, those visuals are like I, I don't know how people consume that daily, like <laughs> that <laughs> that visual because it's yeah. it's a lot. It's like flashing lights. Like if you have seizures, do not watch K-pop oh. music videos. It's a lot of it's. Woo, I can't even talk about it. It's making me overwhelmed talking about it. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, it's funny that you guys are wanting to do that because what I've been thinking of doing on my own is doing reviews for different anime shows because I'm constantly downloading the songs and I tagged my um my playlist into the description for mm-hmm. the recent um anime review I just did because you know yeah. it just. Yeah, but it, and it's crazy because it's just like the amount of people that you don't think would listen to it actually do listen to it. They do. But that's just mm-hmm. the K-pop, J-pop community. Uh, it's hidden, but it's there in it for the most mm-hmm. part. Yeah, but a strong, so, strong influence. Uh-huh. And do K-pop stars, and, and rightfully so. Like some of those songs slap. Don't get me wrong. Oh my <laughs> god! Sometimes Especially, it's hard for me to connect when they're it's Japanese. Like I feel like that about Bad Bunny too. Like I know he's saying something that's touching my soul. I don't oh know god. what, but something's happening. Yes, the oh something's my god. happening. Yes, that's why. <laughs> that's why I did not. Okay, that's probably why. I, if I could use an excuse, that's why I haven't really listened to the full Renaissance because. And it's like in the beginning of that, I was discovering the J-pop, like more songs than what I already had on my phone. And I was looking at the lyrics, the English lyrics and translating. I was like, that's why I like that song, because I knew that's what it was talking about. Like, obviously, I don't know what J-pop. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the lyrics be like, oh, my Mm -hmm. God. How do you know? We're we're going to give you some homework. We're going to give you some homework. You're going to listen to the full album. Yes, you, you need to. to. That's actually don't. You really do. Notes. I listen to it. It's not the whole thing. Well, you need, but you need to listen to it from track one all the way through because, because the it, production it, that is set up for you it's, to do it's exactly really that. good. It's a really good album. I it's know one song. Yeah, really, it's really good. I mean, I think if you listen to it, you'll understand why me and Kristen have like sat here and. Like obsessed about this album yeah. for over I, an hour I mean, because it's I got it so downloaded good. on my phone. I just I never. I played. 
I like I heard uh, I forgot what song it was, but some of the songs like transition like immediately into the next song. Mm-hmm. Like that's I, mean, so I listen to it that way. I know. I, well, that's what I'm saying. Like I've listened to it, but I don't know. There's a, I, I will say there's a community, a small community of people who love Beyonce, but they don't think that Renaissance is as big as people make it. Like it's big, it's big, but connect um kind of like what you guys were saying about lemonade how mm-hmm. well chris was saying about lemonade how it was it was something that you could really relate to and i was yeah. thinking like maybe that's why i just didn't feel the need like i like i like the song i like the album but i just don't feel a pull to play it on repeat like don't judge me but this one song i will play on repeat so many times but it's because i heard it in high school and i was like at a most intricate detail of my life like between phases mm-hmm. of hormones and all that the song um best i never had by beyonce i don't know why mm-hmm. but that song like if i play it i gotta play the whole thing i gotta listen to the whole if you interrupt if you talk in the middle i gotta start all over oh you know what it is i learned this about myself i don't know if you guys can relate to this but i love mm-hmm. when songs start the way they f- they finish the way they start do you know what I mean when I say that? Yeah. Because the way that song starts, it's, it finishes the same way. Because it's a story. It's telling a whole story. Exactly. It's, a, it's a beginning, middle, end. Anyway. And that's why yeah. you live in the rhythm shop because it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. I didn't say I wouldn't. <laughs> I just didn't feel a pull. But I already got well, yeah. homework. No, I mean, girl, it's like a, it's what, like an hour, not even an hour. It's like forty-five minutes, maybe even like thirty-minute long. You're not gonna program. regret it, though. You know what I mean? You're not gonna be like that no. was a waste and of time. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm telling you. I highly doubt I would. Never see- when I first listened to the album, honestly, I was like, "This ain't it. This is not it." It was too disco, and I was like, "Ugh, I don't know if I want to listen to '80s music. I'll go listen to '80s music. I don't know if that's what I want from Beyonce." <laughs> Yeah. You know, I didn't know that's what I wanted. And then I, I gave the album because at that time I was listening to Break My Soul and I was like, mm, okay, this is given like house music. I can get into this. Then the album came out and I was listening to it and I was like, oh, I don't know. But then I like, I listened to the album the way that I like listening to music, which is in the car, mm-hmm. like driving around, cruising around. And this came out during the summer. So I had the yeah. windows down, I had my shades on, I had me a little uh, sonic drink in my cup. And I was just cruising and I listened to it and it, I was like, how did I like miss what this was supposed to be? Like this music mm-hmm. is like beyond like feel good music. This music is supposed to like make you, it makes you want to get up and dance. It, it makes does. you want to go like call someone and say, hey, let's go out. It makes you want to like connect with people. Like it makes you want to like, <laughs> like it, there you have I it, know, Drew. I know. That, that last part right there is probably why I didn't listen to it. It oh, makes you want to connect with people. <laughs> You know what? Well, Come you wanted to connect with people guys. last weekend. Then you should listen to it last weekend. Please <laughs> <laughs> just listen to Renaissance, please. Yeah, give it a listen. Give it a listen. <laughs> it's gonna be a a good time. I promise you. Your facial expression. <laughs> Taking me out, Miss Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know cookout music. You know how cookout music makes you feel something. Ooh, uh, you make me happy. Yep. Beyonce's album Especially. in like twenty years is gonna be cookout music. The oh, Renaissance, Renaissance album. album. On Saturday yes. morning, and I'm playing Renaissance. That means we're about to clean that. We're, we're cleaning. Oh yeah, my! God. You one of those cleaning. mamas? Your son? Yeah. Oh, your son? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Noel, no, well, you his wake name? up and you hear, "I'm number one. I'm one of one. I'm the, I'm only, the only one. one. Go get the broom. <laughs> Go get. I'm not. Come on. You know what time? Get the slipper. Noel. Yeah. You get my kitchen. Get to doing them dishes. Get up. <laughs> Noel. Yeah. Oh, I love that. No, but it's, I mean, it is going to, oh, for, no I mean, for me in my household, it's going to be cookout music. <laughs> when Breaking like, Soul comes Beyonce. out, my son loves that album, y'all. It's so I believe good. it. He's your son. I believe it. And wasn't he making music with his dad? Mm-hmm. He, got, he has a single. We can, re- 
we can review my son's single. <laughs> yes, because oh I meant God. yes. Yes. Because yes. you put it on your story, and I was like, this is a little kid. He's rapping. His little voice. I love that. Uh, Northwest got 24 hours to respond, baby. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Period. Yeah. Period, 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 period. Cool. We're shooting shots at Northwest. I love that for Wait. us. Wait. But, um, Kanye album, though. I'm going to listen to that. That's going to be my homework. I'm listening to Kanye that's, yeah, that's your homework. Listen to the Kanye with an open mind. Everybody listen to what they need to listen to and report back here so we can talk about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> report back at 0600. I know. I know I'm I ain't listen listened to his it. song since uh Stronger. Or no, all the all of the lights. <laughs> I listened to what album? I listened to whatever album he had where it looked like it was like a CD case. I listened to that one. The C was that was that Jesus? Jesus. Um wait, so wait a minute. Y'all haven't listened to Kanye in years? We got more homework than what I expected. Okay, well, mm-hmm. Professor and Chris we trust. Y'all, yeah. what is this, this is trust. <laughs> the trust, please. This is trust, please. Oh, no, the trust is going down. She said, like, "I don't trust down. none of y'all." Yeah, because what is going on, y'all? You talk about stronger. That was on like his second album. Okay, she said stronger. I said Jesus. <laughs> I said all the lights. I said all of the lights. That wasn't Jesus. Okay. No, I'm a not. rap girly. I don't know you, you haven't listened to Kanye since Stronger. I'm a rap rap. He's a I mean, look, J. I know Cole. He's having a moment. Lil Dark. But hey. Okay. Woo! Hold on. Hold Lil on. Dark. <laughs> 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 let's let's put some respect on Kanye's name. He is yeah, still not, an icon. Is he's he a rapper? What's his what is his category? Yes, he's rapping. What are you he's talking about? Is he a rapper? Of course no, he's a rapper. Is he a rapper he's rapper? A he, he did a whole album rap. with Jay Z. Oh yeah. Okay, I lied. Otis. That's the last song. Okay. That's okay. Better. All right. So you the trust is coming back. Mrs. Trust morning. is coming back. You're the sun in my morning, babe. I did no. listen to some songs oh, from him. And love, love Christian bound. Album, or... Where Kim was naked on the micro- motorcycle with him. I know you you're tired. Oh, that's a good song that is a good song okay uh, uh, honey. yeah my brain i'm sorry that side of my brain starting to wake up i apologize i didn't mean to scare you guys i'm sorry to wake up. yeah when it comes to like the music that i haven't i've listened to in the past but i haven't listened to in the last couple i've been i told you i've been learning japanese and korean you know what that does to a woman at 30 no but i'm trying to learn Konnichiwa. i'm finding out <laughs> Ohio, go say mas. Ohio, arigato, arigato, konnichiwa, sagare, wait, sarage, sarage. How are we feeling? I'm, I feel like we ate that up. So, had some good points. Some points were made. Some jokes were told. Points were made. Did you already say that? Okay. Well, I'm just doubling down. Because there were some points. There was a point. It was a good discussion. Very good it discussion. Was. And it was open. Nobody made anybody feel any kind of way. So I liked it. Well, we did kind of make Nelly feel some kind of way about not listening to Kanye, but. And apparently I got homework, but that's besides you do have all that other. We, besides that, all that other jazz. Beyonce. Now I have homework, you guys. So mm, welcome to the Nelly Drayton show where apparently people get assigned homework for not being a creative who, um, you know, just wasn't hip to the new things in life, I guess. Um, I'm just a messenger. It's not that new. The album is over a year old. Uh-oh. See what I'm saying, you guys? The heat just keeps coming. But that's okay because it's the Nelly Drayton show where creatives do what? We do what? We come together. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I hope you guys liked it, loved it, and want more of it. More of it, yes. Ew.